Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we will see how to create a transaction and a credit memo in the account receivable. Transaction, it is nothing but the invoice creation in the account receivable is known as what is creating the transaction in the instance. It's a standard transaction which is created and the next is credit memo. It is uh, useful or it is helpful to reduce the billing of the amount of original invoice. There are two ways in which we can create a credit memo in the instance is manual and automatic. So what are the steps involved in manual credit memo are first we need to create a transaction that is standard tra uh, standard transaction. Then step two is to create a credit memo from tra uh, transactional workbench and step three is create receipt for credit memo. And after that, check the balance. What is the impact on the original invoice of the credit memo which we have applied? Fine, so these are the steps which are involved in manual process. And in automatic is what we can do is first we need to create a transaction that is standard one or we can see that original one. And then we will create an auto credit on that original invoice and then check the balance. And we will also see additionally how to create a receipt for the balance amount. And we will again go and check the balance. So these are the steps involved in creating the transaction and the credit memo in the instance. So let's go to the instance and see how to create both. So moving to the instance. Now for creating the transaction, go to navigator. From navigator, go to receivable and the receivable go to billing. Then from task list, go to create transaction. Now, you can see that transaction class is coming invoice. We need to prepare invoice only. So I'm taking that only business unit, which is mine business unit, that is US1 business unit is already coming. And transaction source is manual, transaction type is invoice only. I just need to add the bill to name, that is customer. Say okay. You can see that all the details of the customer are fetched. Just scroll down a little bit below and give the description like it is good. Give the quantity is one. Amount say 5,000. Fine. After all this information, just go to this complete and create. Click on this drop down and go to complete and review. It will select complete and close it will the transaction will be completed and will be closed but you, if you want to review just click on this complete and review so you can see that transaction has been created you can see that here it is coming transaction number 57765 fine and the status is complete so this is how you can create a transaction in the system cancel is equal to save here so just cancel Fine, say yes. Now we will see how to create a credit memo. So for that, go to create transaction again. Now in transaction class, give credit memo. Transaction type, credit number. Fine. Now, we will give, give the customer details. Okay, fine, all the details has fetched by the system. Now we will give the description as correction. Quantity one, 
amount, say 2000. Fine. Now go to complete and review. Okay, so as we are preparing or creating a credit memo, we need to give amount in negative sign and then complete and review. Fine, so this is the transaction number of our credit memo. Fine. Now, we will create a receipt for this credit memo. So we'll just go to Navigator, Receivable, Account Receivable. From task list, go to manage credit memo application. Now search with the transaction number, our credit memo, which we have created. So this was the credit memo, which we have created. Let's click here. Fine, just go to add open receivable, add the original invoice, which we have created. So this was the invoice, which we have created. Just click add, done. Fine, so what I have done is, first of all, we have created one transaction and then I have created a credit memo and I have applied a credit memo to the transaction which we have created first. Fine, so this is how you can do this. Now just save and close. Done. Fine. Now let's go to billing workbench. Task list. Manage transaction. Search by transaction number. The original transaction number was 57765, search. Click on it. Go to actions, view balance details. You can see that we have created original amount of 5,000 and book a credit against it of 2,000 and the balance is remaining 3,000. So this is how you can create a credit memo and, and, can, and can apply on the original invoice and can reduce the billing amount. Fine, so we have created this credit memo by manual process. It is known as manual process. Now we will see another method of creating a credit memo, which is known as automatic. So for that, first we need to create one transaction that is original invoice on which we are going to apply a credit memo. So let's make one credit uh, transaction. So it is invoice, just add a customer here. Fine. Give description. 
quantity and amount and then complete and review. This is the transaction number of our invoice. Fine. Just cancel it. Now go to task list and go to credit transaction. Give the number here. 59765 of the transaction which we have created. Fine. So source is coming manual, type is coming credit memo only. Now you can see that original amount 3000 is coming. You can give credit percent or directly an amount, right? Like I've, I'm giving thousand. We need to enter a negative amount. Percentage will automatically calculated by the system itself, right? So this is how you can create a credit memo and go to complete and review. So what we have done is we have created one transaction of amount 3000. Then from credit transaction task, we have created a credit memo against it. Fine. So this is the transaction number of our credit memo. Now we will go. Now we will go to the manage transaction and see the balance. For that, go to task list, manage transaction, what was the transaction number, it was 59765, original invoice, click on it. Go to actions, view balance detail. Here you can see original is coming 3000, credit is coming 1000 and balance is 2000. Now, if you want to create a receipt for this balance amount of 2000, how you can do is go to account first cancel this. Now we'll, we will book the receipt of 2000. For that, we need to go to the Account receivable, bug bench. Under receivable, go to account receivable. On task list, go to create receipt. Find receipt, give a receipt method. Fine. Give receipt number. I'm giving double two, double two. Enter amount. It was 2000. Fine. Customer detail. We need to give that. Remittance bank is coming. We just need to add a customer. Give site. Now go to add open receivable. You can search from here the trans original transaction, find or 
you can go to submit and apply manually. And after that, go to add application. And here, give the transaction number against which we are booking the receipt here. That was 59765, original one. Fine. So you can see that it uh, 2000 is coming. Now go to save and close and save. Now we will go again to the billing workbench and we will go to manage transaction and see the balance there. So going to billing. Minus transaction, search by transaction number, that was 59765. Click on this. Now go to actions, view balance detail and see the detail relating to this invoice. That is original invoice. Fine, the balance which is remaining is due to tax. Fine. So this is how you can create a transaction and you can apply a credit memo. There are two ways of doing that. We have seen both, we have covered both uh, the method here. So this was all about the topic. Thank you.